Hello everyone, this is Gaming Master, and we're going to be playing some more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we got to the top of the Great Plateau Tower, and um, now we're going to get off the tower and see what happens. Um, so right now, it's a little scary, but you have to jump down from there where there's the hole. If you fall down, you'll die. And right now we're not dying. This is the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild beating the game without dying. So if we die, I mean, th then I would have to do everything all over again. Oh. I mean, I'm probably not gonna die here. All right, now. the old man has come. <laughs> my, my, it would seem we have quite an enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Well now, a voice you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No, I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that astrocity as shrouding the castle. Hmm. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed so many things in its past. So many innocent lives were lost. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It will appear that moment is fast approaching. Hmm. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Ooh. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over. <laughs> Oh, oh, certainly. Why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. Hmm. Let's see now. How about I trade a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? The isolated plateau is now our main quest. Open adventure log, press hmm. plus. Come, let me show you something. All right, so we can let him show us something. All right. So basically, what he wants us to, sh to what he wants to show us is this, this glowing fortress. So let's go talk to him. <laughs> what, what, what? What? Hey! I'm, tr I'm trying. What? I'm, am I just not supposed to talk? Mm. To him? Okay, okay. There we go. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with strange light. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might house some treasure, wouldn't you? A treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. The some sort of power. So yeah, in every every um of these shrine all of these shrines we get a power. So um Um yeah, let's see what it is. Not every shrine actually. It's actually just four shrines, but yeah, I, I know I said every shrine. Sorry about that. A ruby, a precious gem mined from large ore deposits found through Hyrule. Rubies contain the power of fire uh, fire, and have fetched a high price since ancient times. I don't know why I keep on, like, making, like, the um, gamepad do that. All right. Shake a slate confirmed. All right, so now we have a travel gate registered to map. Access granted. All 
Okay, so now we have the shrine and it's no longer completely glowing orange. It's glowing a little bit blue, but the top is still glowing orange. Um, so, um, yeah. There are these tips you see over here. I don't really pay too much attention to the reading them. I mean, I've read them like a million times, pretty much. Like, I've played this game a million times, basically, so. I don't really need to read them too much. So. All right, but we can put the shaker slate in the pedestal, and now it's distilling a rune. A rune is a power that you can use in many other shrines, um, but only in four shrines you get a rune. So, they're giving us four, and this is one of them, but we're gonna be getting the paraglider, so we don't need to pay too much attention. But, all right, so if you press um, L, you can um, make this rune start to work. So, um, basically, what it does is move magnetic objects. So, yep, it says to press L there, which we can do. And yeah, if you do this, you can activate it with A. So, you're probably wondering, where's the metal? Um, so, you see these metal boards here, and you can you see it glows yellow, and you can put it over here, and you see a pit down here, and you can just jump down. And there you go. We're on the other part of the shrine now. You can take that magnetic block in there, you can easily see it. Um, but there is something I actually wanted to do. C can I just... Ugh, okay. I really want to kill that guy with... With, with this, like, I, could, can I just, no. Uh, okay, I think I'm just gonna have to go fight him. I don't really think that. So, yeah, see, that's, that's what I did. I used the metal to attack the guardian. Um, so yeah, you can use these to actually kill enemies. Or you could use them for shrines. I use them both for both. Um, so, as you can see, we have this bridge here, which is perfectly um, put there. But we need to put this over here. Um, let's put it neatly. Um, but you'll also see this treasure chest over here. So, you can just use magnesis on it. And there you go. We got the chest. Let's see what's in it. That, come on, I can get that anywhere. Re really? I mean, I have like a million of these traveler bows. Like, it's not my favorite bow. I mean, I mean, it's, it's good, it's good. Cause I mean, it's good, but not now. But, okay, so um, we got to the shrine. I mean, got to the end of the shrine, sorry. And this is what happens. We find this monk. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Oman Ah, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight goddess Hylia and dedicated to defeating Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of Goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept the spirit orb. A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. So yeah, that's a spirit orb you can get in every shrine. So now, the old man will come and meet us. So, um, um, so I'm sure you, you've got, most of you guys have already played the game um, since it's three years later. 
But, um, just in case you don't, um, old man's gonna come with his paraglider. And he knows that we got the spirit orb. First of all, I want the, well, first, first, how did you know? Clairvoyance! Oh, or per perhaps something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's eyes. However, that which was hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> but perhaps it is not true for everyone. Oh, oh. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. Hmm. It is all connected. Take a look on the map at, at your shaker slate. Hmm. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you awoke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the shaker slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works. Hmm. All right, so basically what we can do is do this, and if we press A, it should let us travel right there. And before you know it, we've traveled away. So I'm sure we're gonna be there before the old man. Like he's gonna, he's gonna have to climb the whole tower. I wonder if we have to wait for him. That's probably what we have to do. But as soon as we get here, the old man's there before me. And here he is. So I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. Did you fly here? Oh, ho, so you think an old man like me needs to fly to stay ahead of you? I still have a few tricks left in me. Ooh. Now then, I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Do, do you know about the scope on your shaker slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. So yep, we can press that and then we can place a pin. The pins on your map serve as a reference point for your travelers. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. So yeah, basically what we can do is take out our scope and just pin it like that. We can go over and look for the next shrine. We're, okay, here it is. So we could pin that. And the last one, and the final one, should be right over there. All right, so let's go and make our way, oh, be careful. All right, so I'm gonna go to that one. Um, just because, in case I do die, like, I, I like I, I don't want to have to like play a lot of the game again just because I'm just worried a little about dying there like it could be dangerous so um hmm. it's actually pretty close to us too which makes it like even more of a better reason to go ahead there so we can just run there or I could cut it out but I'm not really gonna cut this part out or, or I could but let's equip the traveler's bow just because um, I don't want to waste my bow since the soldier's bow is a really good bow like it, it can take out enemies in one hit like you can't beat that um, all right so let's see here let's climb up here all right we're here uh hold on is this is this I'm, I'm really scared right now I'm just I'm just waiting for an enemy to come and, and kill me right now I, I'm really really scared I, I I really just oh oh he's oh, not alive okay ancient gear a gear used in ancient machinery despite being incredibly old it's built quality it is leaps and bounds over anything built during current technology okay that's not what I was really looking for. Is it you? How about you? Is it you? Yeah, it's you. It's yep, yep, it's you. It's you. It's you. That's what I'm afraid of. 
So some of them are dead and some of them are alive. So if you shoot them in an arrow, they should get um, stunned. And then you can just make your way over here. And there you go. We made it to the shrine. Um, first I wanna actually get this chest. Wait, what, is he, is he targeting me? Okay, I thought I heard something. Um, but yeah, I wanna get this chest for a moment. And let's open it. And what's gonna be inside is the Nintendo Switch shirt. Basically, if you purchase the DLC, which is basically, you know, like the thing you purchase for $20, if you purchase it, you can get a Nintendo Switch shirt. It's so cool. Like normally it would be something that like normal people would wear, like real people, real people would wear, but Link is literally wearing a shirt that says the Nintendo Switch. Like it's just, it's just so weird. Like it, it feels feels really weird just doing that. Like it's something like we would wear, not Link. Um, so yeah, this is the bomb trial. Basically the power we get here are bombs. So we got the remote bombs, a bomb that can be detonated remotely. The force of the blast can be, oh. I don't, I should have read that. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, if you wanna switch runes, you can press um, up and now we can launch bombs. So yep, we can launch a uh, square bomb and the circle, circular bomb. I mean, like if you wanted to roll, use the circular bomb. If you want um, the square bomb, that's if you don't want it to roll. Um, so yeah, here there's a chest. Let's see what's in there. Um, oh, I need that. I, I, I can't not take that. That does 10 damage. That's gonna be our most powerful weapon. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this tree branch because that does two damage. Plus, after like three hits, it breaks. This is a really huge sword. Like, this is a great sword. So, let's take that. Now there's this ladder. And now we have an elevator. Actually, hold on. Uh, sh should I use a, no, no, hold on. No. Use a square bomb. We'll put the bomb over here. We'll let the elevator take it over there. And then we break the wall. We, we could break the other one, but I'm not gonna try too much. Let's just run over here and just place a bomb over there. Just yeah, just to get rid of everything. Now this shrine definitely just got more complex. So they're showing us to throw the orb from there to there. So we can do the same with a bomb. Um, so we can put this in here. And there'll be a ladder up ahead, but there's rocks. So you can't really do that. Oh, I, I set it off a little too early. Okay, let's just try that again. Let's take this out. But yeah, it has to um, load before it can actually like come back. All right, let's just wait. Okay, okay, Th good, good. Now, I know this doesn't sound like the best idea, but there's a chest over there and I really wanna get it. So I'm basically just gonna launch myself up it seems like death, but it's not. Like, it's, it's not gonna kill you. And we got Amber. It's pretty helpful. I mean, not too helpful. I mean, it's pretty much just for decorations and stuff, but you can get a high price for it. And so, wait, hold on, yeah, okay. Uh, is this safe? Am I gonna explode myself? All right, all right, no, no, I'm not gonna die. All right, let's go back to here and let's, Wait, should I just, yeah, okay, let me just, let me just finish the shrine. The resultfulness and, I don't know why I skipped to that again. I, I keep on skipping everything and I'm trying to read it. Uh, I don't know why I always do that. 
sometimes I just try and do that. But, um, yeah, we just witnessed a guardian attack, which is very scary. Like, I find it, like, like I, 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 I get really scared when this type of stuff happens. I, I could get really scared. Um, so, just because they can kill you in one hit, just so you know. So, um, uh, yeah. So never, never try and fight one. You could shoot him in the eye and then start fighting him. But, I mean, you, you, right now your weapons really only do like four damage, five damage, 10 damage. Not, I mean, you, you could try and take them out, but you would, I mean, the soldier's bow would be a quite reliable weapon to shoot him in the eye. Because if you shoot any enemy in the head, it does double the damage. Even with like um, um, bow goblins, like the monsters, even them, it does double the damage. But before I end the video, I do want to grab some of the metal chests in the lake. Since we got our uh, Magnesis trial, but we forgot. Oh, more amber. All right, we have two pieces of amber now, but I also want to get this, which I believe is an opal, I think? Yeah, it's an opal, it's an opal. All right, um, but I also want to take this. Everyone's probably thinking, what am I doing with this? Um, well, I actually wanted to get something really helpful early in the game. Like, normally you wouldn't get, like, you wouldn't, this is like really, really helpful. Like, this, I, like, I would rely on this. Like, if I had a million of these arrows, I would only, I wouldn't, I would never use ordinary arrows. Like. These are really good types of arrows. I know I only have arrows right now, but things are about to change. We don't have just arrows. We have other types of arrows. So yeah, you can put this over here to make a bridge, because if you do fall in the swamp, you're gonna sink. You're gonna fall and it's a bottomless bog. So this is an ice arrow, five of them. A bundle of five ice arrows. Ice arrows break apart on impact, freezing objects in the media area, incredibly useful against hot things. So nap, now we have that. Now we have fire arrows. A bundle of five fire arrows. Fire arrows break apart on impact, igniting objects in the media area, incredibly effective against cold things. So yeah, we have two elements we got just now. Um, very sudden, suddenly we got it, but helpful. I know like everyone was probably used to arrows. Like sometimes you don't, you see the 